Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy New Year's. I can't believe it's 2016. 2015 went by really quick. So, to get this year started off, I have my first YouTube video for this year. Yesterday I did do an Instagram exclusive tutorial, so if you guys saw that, thanks for watching. And if not, you might want to go check that out and let me know what you guys think. So today I have a wintry deal now dear nail art tutorial for you guys i'm using a new polish i received for christmas named royale from urban outfitters i am actually a huge fan of urban outfitters polishes so first i have two swatch photos for you guys to see of this polish so we can kind of talk through that and then we'll get to the actual art part of this video this is one coat of royale and it is a matte finish polish to me this almost is considered more of a velvet polish because it does have such a high shimmer glitter rate in it. Whenever you get the matteness, it creates that velvet look like Zoya releases out once a year, typically for a full line. This one reminds me a lot of a Zoya velvet. So if you're a big fan of Zoya velvets, this may be a good alternative for you to find because it is not that expensive. You get two for eight dollars or sometimes even two for six, which is a great deal. And it's a great quality. Like I said, this is only one coat of polish and I had absolutely no staining issues. So all of that is great points for this polish. And if you're not a matte person, don't worry because wait till you see this. This is it with one coat of top coat. I use Serendipity's Finishing Touch top coat for this look. And it really just brought all the sparkle in this polish to life. I personally like it this way better because I am a shiny nail person. That is just my preference. So I absolutely love this polish. I have been wearing it on my non-swatch hands for the past few days. And I've been so excited to put this together in a post for you guys. So I'm super happy to be sharing it with you guys finally. So now let's get to the wintry deer part of this video. Here I am just jotting on the snow with a big nail art dot using acrylic paint and now I'm going to paint on the little deer with my berry wine brushes from Winstonia. All these will be linked in the, in the description box. So be sure to check out everything I use in the description box here and as well as on today's blog post which is on 25sweetpeas.com. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. What would you like to see more of this year? Less of? What would you guys like to see that is new? Just let me know what you guys want to see. Obviously, I don't want to just create a whole bunch of videos that nobody cares about. So be free to comment below what you'd like to see. And I will try to fit some of those in soon before we get to Valentine's Day nail art. Which shall be fun. I had a ton of fun doing these nails because it was a wintry, almost Christmassy like scene. So, if you guys want to see more wintry, Christmassy scenes, let me know because I will be happy to do more. I feel like I didn't really get to do that many in December for some reason, but I really would like to do some more this month. And I figured it is still winter for most of the US anyway. So, why not do more wintry scenes, even though I live in a place where it is tropical? Well, I hope you guys liked today's post. I am sorry for rambling. I will see you guys later. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.